Hello and welcome to Hello Nintendo, the official podcast of our Nintendo. I am your host today, Harrison, aka Fro Bro, and joined by today, uh, Brooks, or aka the Poochie Kid, and Alec, the Scottish Lion. How are you guys doing today? Doing yeah. good. How are you? Oh, I'm excellent, and I got things to do today, so let's get through this quickly. Yeah. Sounds yeah. good. Uh, so, uh, what you boys been paying recently? Well, I've been playing the game everyone's been playing. Splatoon 2. And, well, it's pretty great. The, it's definitely better than the first game. To someone who doesn't own a Switch yet, is it fresh? Yes, it is very fresh. The new gameplay mode, Salmon Run, it really adds to the experience, I think, and... Well, see, you guys, you say that, but I've been seeing the moderators in our Slack chat. They complain about that mode specifically very often. Because it's hard. So you're saying they're not good at the game? No. Because I'm the one that complains too, but... Maybe all the rest of them are bad at it. (laughs) But it's just really overwhelming to do it. And it, especially the fly fish enemy, where you have to basically has these two like garbage can things, and you have to throw a bomb into both both things, but only when when both of the pails or whatever they are are open. But when they're open, they also shoot missiles at you, so kind of frustrating yeah that's why i stay away from games like that i am easily angered speaking of easily (laughs) angered uh what you been playing alec so i've been playing a little bit of overwatch on the pc just dabbling in it whenever i get a chance to play haven't been playing too much but still a really fun game shout out to all those overwatch players it is not a nintendo (laughs) game blasphemy blasphemy (laughs) i'm gonna tell steve he's not gonna like that Uh, for myself, I've been playing a lot of Fire Emblem Heroes. I know, boring, not even a real game, but it's what I've been playing. <laughs> and boy, I'm telling you, intelligence systems are acting crazy over here. Because, I mean, the next big update's about to change so much. I mean, in fact, I hate to sound like a shill here, but they're starting an event. Uh, what is it? Like, in a couple days, I don't know. It'll probably be up I by the time. I think, uh, like, uh, two days? On when this, yeah, it's on the seventh or the eighth, so yeah. uh, probably the podcast will be out by then. But yeah, it's yeah. a starter support where it's the perfect time. I mean, really, it's the perfect time to start playing the game. Even better so than uh, well, when the game first came out. Now that you've got <laughs> access to so many new, different characters with better abilities. Anyway, so if you're interested, uh, now's the time to pick that up. And I'll, if you want to find out why, head over to our Fire Emblem Heroes and ask real fast. Yeah, so it's a, it's a very community supportive right community. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> they, I love that place. Well, yeah. okay, enough, enough of my shilling. Today we've got <laughs> some, uh, we got some pretty triggering <laughs> comments today because we're going to talk about some very unpopular and some things that the mod team as a whole really get heated about sometimes. And by sometimes, I mean I expect about a rant every two or three days. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna let. Brooke started us off, but let me pose the question first. How do you feel about the happy-go-lucky sentiment and the nostalgia bait that is the GameCube Circle Jerk? I didn't grow up with the GameCube. I, I don't have a lot of experience with it. Like, I've played Melee twice. That's about the limit of my experience with the GameCube. So as someone who isn't familiar or nostalgic about the GameCube, how do you feel about seeing so many people online talk about and clamor for it? A virtual console, special Joy-Cons, remakes a GameCube game. Ugh, yeah. just stop, please. I mean, I, I want to play a lot of a lot of these games too. I mean, I especially the Thousand Year Door, but just get a Wii. <laughs> Lol, that's the perfect. Get, you want to play a, some GameCube games? Get you a Wii. Too true. Though I guess there, I guess there is the argument for like the Mario Party games because, 
last time I checked, they're like nearly two hundred dollars on Amazon. Like what? No, because I know uh, what is it? Path of Radiance. That game, like some GameCube games, are like costly. Well, okay. In that case, then I can understand why people would want them on Virtual Console because, of course, I would want it for like fifteen dollars instead of like. The sixty dollars the thousand year door is. Are you kidding me? It really costs that much. Yeah. Actually, so I'm gonna have to offer a correction there. Uh, don't go onto Amazon to look for pricing of games because what Amazon for old games gets really weird because of their stocking. Uh, if you want Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, you can find it used at a GameStop. Um, or it's going to be around the same price at any game store for uh, $30. And that's about the same for most of the Mario oh. parties. Uh, they're going to be in the $30, uh, maybe $40 range if you're at a local game store that's trying to get a few extra bucks. <laughs> uh, but yeah. With that being said, I'm not even particularly fond of the GameCube Mario Party games. I mean, what is it? Seven had that eight player multiplayer that I played with all my cousins. Eight player uh, <laughs> multiplayer? Yeah, dog. Everyone had half a controller. Like one dude <laughs> plays with his left hand on the controller oh, and he has access wow. to a stick and then the L button. So the, all the uh, mini games in it were pretty simple, the, requiring only one button and one stick for each player. But I mean, it was at least interesting. Hmm. And because there because sound. it was an eight player thing, they had like a probably like something like a 28 mayor roster. It was pretty deep. Like Dry Bones was playable in that one. 28 player roster wow yeah or i might be off by i don't know a lot but like it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't a very small roster like i felt yeah, like well, all eight of us can pick and there's still characters worth talking about available Mar mario party 7 is actually probably my least favorite mario party on the gamecube do you to play have you played uh like four or six no, or I have played four before, but I didn't play enough, and it was so long ago that I really can't have a strong opinion on it. Bro. Yeah. There's only 12. No way. There's unlockable players. You have to buy them. Off the top of my head, there's more than four. You can be Toad, Toadette, ba uh, Dry Bones, Koopa. The total roster, Mario, Luigi, Peach, Yoshi, Wario, Daisy, Waluigi, Toad, Boo, Toadette, Birdo, Dry Bones. And you unlock Birdo and Dry Bones. Are you serious? I'm tripping that hard? Yes. My bad. <laughs> you know me, I'm always tripping. We always make sure our facts are correct on Hello Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I really felt like it was so much more than that. Like, I could see the character select screen in my head. Huh. Huh. Well, what do you think about the GameCube Circle Jerk, Alec? So yeah, so I, I grew up with a GameCube. It was my first real system that I owned on my own, and I like it. I, I Not the Circle Jerk. I, I like the GameCube, but it is overrated. A lot of people go back to it, and for whatever reason, they really like to look at the games positively. I don't know. I'm going to question... How much time people that talk about the games on uh, like r slash Nintendo that say, okay, we really want a GameCube virtual console. How much have you actually played of the GameCube? Because I think that's part of it is that there's this curiosity uh, to them yeah. that it's, you know, two generations old now. They really haven't played it, but they've played enough or seen gameplay of it where they're like, this game looks fun, but... We've made so many, many advances in the gaming industry that I think it would be, other than the Mario parties, um, and maybe a rare gem like Super Mario Sunshine, well even Super Mario Sunshine, Luigi's Mansion, Luigi's Mansion is a really good one, um, other than a couple games like those, just play the latest versions of Mario Kart. Play the uh, you know the the newer versions of games because they're just empirically better, and you're gonna be kind of wasting your time on a lot of the GameCube games. Do you know how bad you just angered the melee fans we got watching? They probably I, I, left. Uh, I well okay. I love no. I, I see because if I start talking about melee, <laughs> you don't want me to start doing that. 
no then will really anger somebody i do i do like melee for what it's worth i appreciate uh melee you know i i'm into esports so i really appreciate melee i think i actually think melee is a really good competitive game more so than uh the newest smash bros but definitively technically smash bros wii u is a better game in literally every way and literally say that say that in literally every way in literally every way there we go see he said it <laughs> oh i know i angered somebody i'm sorry i'm playing i'm playing oh myself uh i actually did grow up with the gamecube because i'm not a child and well my thoughts are the gamecube it's as alex said you guys are really overhyping it <laughs> there really aren't that many good games on the gamecube I remember a couple of months ago, maybe even like, I did a Talk It Out Tuesday and the topic was that you made your own library of a mini console or classic GameCube or Nintendo 64. I remember doing that and uh, when you go through like, cause the, what was it? Mini NES had like 30 games, right? I said you had to pick 15. Cause if I said 30, the, the it, there's no tough choices when I say you get to pick 30 Nintendo 64 games. You know what I mean? Anyway. I said you could pick 15 of any title, even third party, and you could put it on. And like, specifically, the the 64 and the GameCube's library was so lacking. Like, there really aren't that many games worth playing, and doubly so for games worth talking about. Yeah. Yeah, I'd agree. Other than Mario Party, uh, Metroid Prime, uh, Thousand Year Door, and I haven't even played Prime or Thousand Year Door. It gets to the point, and of course, Melee, because it's better in literally every way. There's... Uh, um, what? Wait, there's, what? <laughs> there's not a whole lot of games that you really need to play on the GameCube. Wait, wait, wait. Go back to Melee for a second. What you mean? <laughs> He's tripping. No, Melee's, Melee's terrible. terrible. Say it. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Um, okay, you're right. It's just buggy and unfunctional and unbalanced. We, yeah, we, we should have a total melee discussion later. <laughs> yeah, we might, we might. Based off the 15 minutes of melee I've ever played, it's, it's slow and every character has the mobility of an anchor. Wait, wait. Nah, you're tripping. It's fast and everyone falls like a rock. And I hate it. Noop, like, you see a lot of players like a lot of competitive players say like who does it who likes brawl it's all slow and floaty but like melee was so fast like I, it, it's Granted, hard I to move your character like you it's too sensitive like i don't like melee most people <laughs> don't like melee melee is one of the most overhyped nintendo games not the most uh, we'll get more oh, into that yeah. later but right now it's circle jerk time uh I remember not too long ago, the Circle Jerk was full on Nintendo 64, Ocarina of Time, Smash 64, Mario 64. I mean, you couldn't go anywhere and talk about video games without hearing about some legendary 64 title. And, uh, yeah, dude, it wasn't so long ago either. Like, I feel like it was maybe three or four years ago. You really couldn't escape that kind of stuff. And now I see a shift to the GameCube, and it's like, where's the self-awareness? I guess what happened is, uh... People old enough to be nostalgic about the Nintendo 64 stopped going to online message boards and started living a life like adults. And now the college 20 somethings are the guys who grew up with the GameCube, and it's my turn to tag out <laughs> out of the message board scene. Maybe it's that. That's another thing with the Wii U Virtual Console that I don't think would work on the Switch without uh, specific Joy Cons. Or, yeah, Joy Cons are what they're called. The analog. The little the R and L buttons, they're the spring loaded and uh they if you push it like half a half press on a shield like L or R is is a different function that can't be you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Replicated on the True. current Switch Joy Cons. And I don't think Nintendo's gonna make Joy Cons just for the GameCube V C. They're far more likely to make a pro controller specifically for GameCube V C like they did for the Wii Classic or the what's that called? Uh the classic controller. The classic controller pro they're far more likely to do something similar to that and with that being said bro gamecube games aren't even that good just buy a gamecube <laughs> uh moving on uh, after saying that gamecube games aren't even good we're gonna play a little <laughs> game here on our nintendo we're gonna uh, 
we're gonna run through you're gonna get mad so <laughs> fair warning you might not agree and you're unable to debate us hey you can debate in the comments below you, you can actually comment in the comments there there's comments that you can comment in <laughs> we're gonna be talking about uh our most or we're gonna be talking about our least favorite nintendo franchise and the franchise that we think is the most overrated if we got time we'll, we may discuss at least or uh, the most underrated but i don't know i talk a lot <laughs> so we might not have time for that this time i'm gonna start with alec yo alec uh what's the most overrated nintendo franchise i apologize for saying this but at the same time i don't pokemon is so overrated you do know that Pokemon is one I, of the I most totally iconic IPs on the but planet, Pokemon right? Pokemon is just, it's... Every person that I've talked to that, that has played Pokemon gets to a point in the game where the grinding and the frustration, it's just insane. I've tried to play several different Pokemon, and... Wait, wait, did you say grinding? What Pokemon game requires you to grind? So, so this might come down to semantics and definitions. Um, it, the beginning of the game where you're stuck, anytime you get stuck in a cave, um, and this might be also because I'm bad, uh, and I need to get good, but the getting stuck with a Zubat confuse uh you have low leveled and it just gets generic battle after battle as you walk out that like only applies to like the first two games i i do have to agree there you're right it does feel generic battle after battle and the may and maybe the encounter rate's a bit a tad too high because like everyone buys repels in bulk in the newer pokemon games if you use a repel and it wears off the game will pause and give you a prompt to immediately use another one if you want because it's an anti-frustration feature. Everyone wants to spam repels because nobody likes walking in the wild Pokemon. I mean, I mean, JRPGs with random encounters are kind of on the way out. I mean, Pokemon's one of the last few that I can even think of. Dragon Quest doesn't have it. I don't know what to say about recent Final Fantasy games other than to say... I wouldn't call those random encounters. Yeah, Final Final Fantasy has changed a bit, but well, yeah. I mean, and you do bring up a good point that the repels are used in the newer ones. I've only, uh, I don't shoot. I, I've played one of the newer ones or attempted to as a demo, and it loses. There's no, and you're gonna hate me for saying this. There's no story to grab you. Granted, I, I skip most stories in games anyway, but there's really, it just loses its luster very quick. It, it seems cool, and I, it, I've i tried to like Pokemon, mm. which is why I think it's overrated, because the world is such a creative and unique idea. The world of Pokemon is super cool, but when you get into the actual gameplay, after a while it just feels the same, just catching different Pokemon, and... It either becomes too easy or uh, it, it, it hits a difficulty curve that's infuriating and really hard to play. You know, you, that's another point I kind of have to agree with you on. Pokemon stories uh, never exactly try hard. Mm. When I think Pokemon stories, Gen 5 was kind of straight. Um, Gen 5 uh, being black and white and black and white too, those stories were, they were fine. They were serviceable, probably the best in the series until Sun and Moon, which feels like it actually has a story, which is kind of revolutionary for the franchise, to be honest. I mean, it's got cutscenes. Though now, though really, the story is one of the main complaints of the game I've seen. I've heard that, like, the story takes away from the experience. Really? I thought people liked it. They liked its charm and simplicity. And I'm not going to spoil anything, but I think Lusamina Spoilers. Yeah, I mean, I, I really don't have much more to add to that. That's the main reason I think Pokemon is overrated. I think, uh, I don't agree with you, but you made some excellent points, so I think you got your point across excellently. Moving along, Poochie, what is the most overrated Nintendo franchise? Donkey Kong. Wow. 
The people you angered are like older than me. I guarantee it. <laughs> uh, like, like Donkey Kong Country to be specific. I'm I'm playing DK C one, DK C two, Returns and Tropical Freeze. So, and people say, oh, they're master classes in platforming, and they're just so amazing, and. I've got to disagree. Like, like there's just something about Donkey Kong that feels wrong. That that may sound weird to say, but I think just like compared to Mario, his weight just is wrong. Oh, you don't like you don't like his physics. Yeah, yeah. That that's my main problem with it. See, my problem. I'm not. I do think Donkey Kong's fine. A little bit overrated, but like my problem with Donkey Kong. It's not the physic. I mean, it feels like, as everyone knows, indie platformers are like the go-to game these days. If you wanted to find a platformer, like you don't need to look very far. You could spin yeah. the direction and hit a platformer. <laughs> and even though those were like masterpieces in its day, by today's standards, indie platformers feel better than Donkey Kong Country 1, 2, and 3. I said it. Yeah, I wouldn't disagree with you. And it's not just like, it aged poorly or because it's bad it got outclassed those graphics think, aged poorly yo not yeah especially when i take it back yeah especially compared to like uh yoshi's island which is the the granddaddy uh platformer in my opinion it doesn't get better than that uh i can't say one more question unrelated you said i asked for franchise and you said donkey kong in general how do you feel about donkey kong 64 left just no. How long have you tried <laughs> to play Donkey Kong 64? Like 30 minutes. Yeah, it gets kind of unplayable fast in my opinion. I, I, for the viewers or listeners, I should say. Uh, keep in mind, Poochie's a little young here, so him going to play Donkey Kong 64 is a bit of a throwback. That's like me playing a NES game, and I can't stand NES games, and I think they're virtually unplayable, really. But just keep in mind the kid's perspective my opinion on donkey kong 64 is that rare didn't really make very good games and nintendo perfected the 3d platformer on the first try and rare messed up like four times because i don't like <laughs> i don't like conquer's bad for a day i don't like banjo one and two it feels like a it feels like a way worse yoshi's island like yoshi's island is the quintessential collect-a-thon platformer puzzle game it's got everything. Agreed. But then Banjo and Kazooie is like so clunky and oh gosh, I don't like it. And Donkey Kong 64 is like a worse Banjo and Kazooie. That's like, that's what I, if I was a reviewer and they're going to slap my text on the back of the box, <laughs> that would be it. Donkey Kong 64 is like a worse Banjo and Kazooie. <laughs> that's exactly what I'd put. Wow. But I think that goes back to me being on the internet for maybe a bit too long and remember seeing everyone circle trick about Nintendo 64 games. So maybe that's where my complete dislike of Rare Rare titles comes from. Yeah, maybe. And maybe they're not so overrated these days. But in your opinion, they are. Uh, as for me, most overrated Nintendo franchise has... See, there's so many I want to say. But I, I told everyone else we can only pick one, and so I'm going to say, it's The Legend of Zelda. E That's overrated. <laughs> that game, that franchise, all of them. I mean, the first one is not not just because it's a NES game. Legend of Zelda NES is not playable at all. It's not. It's cryptic. And yeah. some people are like, it's because you're supposed to explore. No, no, no. Etrian Odyssey is exploring, right? Breath of the Wild is exploring. Zelda 1 is not like either of those. Hey, use this random flute on a random lake. Places that need to be bombed with no indication. Cryptic localization. Worthless items. <laughs> oh, man. It's got everything. It's got everything bad. Everything. I'm not sure how that game sold enough to warrant a sequel. And even that sequel is pretty bad. <laughs> Legend of Zelda 2 is like the odd man out. Like every franchise has got that one game, you know. And everyone thinks it's like Wanda Gamelon? No, it's Zelda 2. <laughs> I don't know what Shiki was thinking on that one. It's a 2D platformer. 
with an overworld and it's like a side scroll and beat em up and it's got rpg stuff in it what are you doing like why did you whatever <laughs> whatever man shiggy was tripping ocarina of time i'm not saying that's a bad game i grew up with a nintendo 64 just like most of you people like fine fellows but uh bruh like there's so many games I had. I had Conker's Bad for a day and Donkey Kong Country and Diddy Kong Race. I had like I had the Legends, right? But Legend of Zelda is I I couldn't get engaged like and I just didn't think it was fun and I got lost so often. To be honest, I I'd, I'd say that Majora's Mask is hands down the most overrated game of all time. Of all <laughs> of yeah, all time, that's, that's a big yeah. one. No, I'm not. Are you sure you don't want to say Final Fantasy VII? Are you sure you don't want to say that? Well, I, I've i actually played Majora's Mask, 3D version, and I just had to put it down at the Great Bay. I put it down Legend of Zelda because I got... I don't even remember the order. Like, it's been so long. I, I remember getting through the Great Deku Tree. I remember you got to sneak in through the castle. And I think I got lost right there. <laughs> nah, I got a little bit further. I just remember thinking, where do I go? And uh, and then, then the internet, I did okay, the internet existed, but I didn't have access to it. <laughs> and, I, and I wouldn't oh. have access to the internet for a great while. But uh, I just feel like literally every single Legend of Zelda game is blown out of proportion. I haven't played Breath of the Wild, but to hear people call it one of the best games ever, I'm gonna assume it's overrated. So, yeah, Breath Breath of the Wild is very overrated. It has. It, Whoa. It, I was not Legend expecting that. Of, Legend of Zelda is one of my favorite series, and Ocarina of Time is my favorite game of all time. Uh, Majora's Mask is a really good game, and it, Bre Breath of the Wild. When we when you play it, one of my biggest complaints about it is the overworld is way too big and it's not linear enough, but that's a that's a but me But there's stuff that's, to do in it. it it's a me problem, because like, I, I suck at video games and I need them to hold my hand and it doesn't hold my hand enough and mm. Maybe, maybe that's why I don't like Legend of Zelda. I don't like entirely liter linear games. I say that and I like like Final Fantasy 13. But I also don't like games that are super open-ended. Like, I don't like Grand Theft Auto. So, would you like Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword? I don't play... I, see, after a while of playing Zelda games, I stopped. <laughs> and I don't think I'm going to start. Mm. I just don't like it. It just doesn't mess with me and I know that. So I don't play them. Fair enough. All right, uh, moving on. What was the other thing we're talking about? Oh, we're talking about uh, our least favorite Nintendo franchise. This we just went from most overrated to our least favorite today. I'd like to start with uh, Alec this time. Least favorite Nintendo franchise. Least favorite. So uh, Pokemon's up there just because it's not very. You know, I already gave all my complaints about it. Um, so I, I guess this would be a question to better define this question. A Nintendo franchise that we just wish would kind of disappear. Could, would, okay, I don't know about a, a lot of yeah. people like these franchises. Even if I don't, I don't know about taking people's it, happiness away. And see, yeah, but. and see this. This is the hard part that a lot of the there's no franchise that I dislike because I realize that a lot of people have fun with them. Um. And everybody, you know, everybody has their own taste in video games. So I, I wouldn't say that there's any franchise that I would get get rid of. My least favorite. We don't gotta get rid of them. Just least favorite. Least favorite. <laughs> I, I would say Pokemon. It is has to be my least favorite. Mm. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that hurt me a little bit. Uh, what about you, Brooks? Well, personally, I wouldn't go with the entire series because I haven't played all the games in it, but just a specific game, Earthbound. Yo! <laughs> yes, you're right. I, I I played through it 
on the Wii Virtual Console, and it was utter trash. Okay, let's let's go ahead and roast Earthbound real fast, <laughs> cause I got some I got some things I want to say. Uh, so how did you feel about combat? It was pretty boring and just rather bad. <laughs> how did you feel about inventory item management? The worst thing ever. Just no. How did you feel about your teammates joining your team at low levels? <sighs> How'd you feel about waiting in, at that waterfall for three minutes? I I had to look up that on a guide. <laughs> well, no, there's a guy in Saturn Valley who says it. It's just, why would you want to talk to them? I get it's an RPG and you're supposed to, but like, three mm. minutes? Yeah, Good like, lord. Okay, maybe like, I don't know, 30 seconds or something. But I mean, the game got charm, but that's all it's got. I mean, even in its, that game came out late on in the SNES's lifestyle, like life, lifestyle, in the SNES's life cycle. So games like Final Fantasy V and like, I don't know, Final Fantasy VI, yeah. Chrono Trigger, they already came out. Like better RPGs exist on that console before yeah. that game came out. No business being also, that bad. No the business graphics being that are bad. Meh. Especially compared to Final Fantasy. I don't go, <laughs> Nintendo, I don't understand you. Or like Secret of Mana, that's another uh that's another like better looking game. I I mean, but the music in Earthbound's crazy. I like that. I feel they went more style over substance. Well, I've played Mother 3. I've played Mother 3, Mother 1, and Earthbound. And if you don't like Earthbound, you won't like the other ones. Mother 3 has a better story. And it's more I say more linear, but like I can't explain it. You kinda it's almost like you're reading uh -huh. a book. Like you can't go the wrong way. Like it. I mean, it's like it's like if you play Final Fantasy X, it's like that. Like in Final Fantasy X, you can't go back uh -huh. to Besaid if you want it. When you get to Luca, like you, there's no back. You can only push. You can't go backwards. Only forward. Yeah, I heard there's like a chapter structure. Yeah, and there is a chapter structure, which I can't say I actually mm -hmm. like. I do want to see that game remade though. So it doesn't suck, right? Yeah, and then Earthbound beginnings probably the less said about it the better oh my goodness i mean it plays like a bad nest jrpg can you guess why as for my least favorite franchise it's toss-up it's either it's either f-zero or metroid and because everyone circle jerks metroid so feverishly i'm gonna say i'm gonna say metroid it's got one good good my bad it's got two good games Three. I said forgot fusion. Yeah, three good games. <laughs> and I feel like most people who circle jerk Metroid haven't even played it. <laughs> Cause I have. I don't like them. Oh, I was just gonna say I've never played Metroid. Um oh, I think a lot of people's curiosity is peaked because of Metroid Prime four coming out and that Nah, they were they were circle jerking before that though. But but again, because it's a thing that they haven't played. Um, and I could be wrong on that, so yell at me in the comments. But what what are the what are the actual good Metroid games that people should play? Super Metroid Fusion Other M. I said Other M and I know it and I'm not taking it back. Zero mission? That's just like a better version like I don't know if I should count remakes. I mean it's I'm pretty sure it's the same engine, like it's the same stuff as uh, Fusion. It's just Metroid 1, though. But, like, Metroid Ness is unplayable. Super Metroid is, like, one of the holy grails of gaming. And, uh, Metroid Prime series kind of fell off. They adapted it as a first-person shooter. Some people like the change. I don't particularly like shooters. I'll be honest. The, the original Metroid is probably the worst game I've ever played. Have you played Stack Up? Or not Stack yeah. Up. Have you played, like, Gyromite? No. Or, like, uh... Oh, no. With some other urban champion. Just have the games I played, but ice climbers. Oh well, if you played well, any of those, those are definitely worse. Yeah, but I'm kidding. I haven't played a bunch of old games, so yeah. Don't play those, because <laughs> you'll find a <laughs> game that's worse than Metroid Ness. I don't dislike the Prime series. I dislike what it did to the franchise. I like that a lot of people like it. Maybe a bit too much. But like, I mean, it veered the core, it veered the franchise off course, and like, and now I can't get back on. 
I mean, me other M's not even bad. It's not even bad. It's it tries to marry the 2D platforming and 3D first person shooty of Prime and the earlier games in the franchise. And I feel the gameplay is fine, even if you don't like the point and click sections. I don't either, but hmm. that's because I'm like shooters. The story is one thing that gets lauded a lot. Like it takes a lot of uh, hate. And to that I say, bruh, are you playing Metroid for the story for real right now? <laughs> if you're playing a Nintendo franchise and like you're trying to get in the story, you played yourself. You played yourself. They, don't get me wrong, there are good stories. Thousand Year Door, Superstar Saga, Super Bowser's Inside Paper Story. Mario. Uh, I just named a whole bunch of... Fine, that one too. Actually, I do that one too. Or like Luigi's Mansion. There are some good stories in Nintendo games. But on average, they're pretty yeah. throwaway and forgettable. And sometimes that's intentional. So, just like in Metroid, I, I don't like the atmosphere. Uh, the platforming's fine, but I, it has not, hasn't been a platformer for a while. First edition shooters kind of throw away. Other M stories not even bad. People don't like Submissive Samus or Sentimental or Talkative or Monologue Samus. And to that, I'd say, bro, did you play Metroid Fusion? Because I did, and that's consistent. She was uh, pretty acting like she was acting like Adam was super dreamy in Metroid uh, Fusion. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, you just kind of ousting yourself as a dude who ain't play it. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying you're not a real fan if you haven't played Fusion. I'm just saying, uh, go play Fusion and then talk mm -hmm. crap about other him. <laughs> but maybe Metroid Prime 4 will turn things around. I don't know. Not for me, probably, but I'm sure everyone else will like it. Mm -hmm. So maybe I shouldn't complain Damn. too much. Yeah? People are going to hate us. And that about wraps it up. Be sure to check us out on r slash Nintendo where, and be sure in the comments to share your thoughts and opinions as well as any subscriber questions you want us to answer on the next episode. Speaking of the next episode, that one will answer the question that's been going on well, throughout history. Is Nintendo? Thanks for listening to Hello Nintendo. Bye. Here we go, off the rails, don't you know, it's time to raise our sails, it's freedom like you never knew. Any bags, or a pass, say the word, I'll be there in a flash, you could say my hat is off to you.
Nintendo!